So, bumili ka ng Freedcon R1 Pro or R3, tapos gusto mong i-download yung photos and videos without removing the micro SD cards? Tara, check natin si RODCAM app. Pero para saan at ano nga bang gamit ng RODCAM app? Ang RODCAM app ay gamit para ma-download ang photo and videos recorded from your R1 Pro and your Freedcon R3. Dito mo din makikita ang live feed ng camera for framing at most importantly, para ma-adjust ang camera settings. To download RODCAM, go to the Play Store or App Store and type in RODCAM. Press to install. Para naman ma-access ang recorded files or camera settings, turn on the camera either R1 Pro or R3, then turn on Wi-Fi. Wi Once naka-on na ang Wi-Fi ng R1 Pro or R3 nyo, go to your phone's Wi-Fi settings, and then look for Freedcon. Pag first time mag-pair sa unit nyo, ang default password is 123456789. Once connected na ang phone at ang unit nyo, let's go to the RODCAM app. Pag open ang RODCAM app, dito natin makikita ang video live feed para sa framing, lalo na sa Freedcon R3. Sa baba naman, nakikita natin ang video and photo folder. Meron na loop recording feature ang R1 Pro at Freedcon R3. So meaning, pag napuno na ang storage, automatic niyang papatungan ang mga naunang videos. Speaking of storage, minimum storage for both units is 64GB and maximum unit naman is 256GB. Sa camera settings naman, makikita dito ang Wi-Fi name, Wi-Fi password. In case napapalitan niyo ang Wi-Fi password, make sure lang na hindi niyo makalimutan ang bagong password. Preview automatic recording on and off. Every time niyo makikita ang live feed, pwedeng mag-automatic record at pwedeng hindi. I personally turn it off. Audio recording naman, I suggest it's always turned on. Sa timestamp naman, ito yung watermark sa videos containing the date and the time ng footage. Cyclic recording time, dito mo masasetup kung paano hatiin ang video. Meron itong option na 1 minute, 3 minutes, 5 minutes, at 10 minutes. Ako personally, I use 5 or 10 minutes per video. Sa so G-Sensor naman, you can turn it on and off. Pag naka-on itong feature na to in case of accident, the video file is locked at hindi siya mapapatungan ng loop recording. Next is auto power off. Tapos, record quality. Dito natin mababago ang video quality. Kung gusto mo 1080p or kung gusto mo 2K resolution ang gamitin per video. Sa exposure, dito natin pwedeng i-adjust ang liwanag or dilim ng footage. So yung plus sign makes the video brighter at yung minus sign naman makes the video darker. Sa format naman, ito yung ginagamit to format na memory card. One tip guys, sa unang gamit ng memory card, i-format nyo muna. Next is restore factory settings. This is self-explanatory na guys. And lastly, the camera version. Reminder guys, hindi mo kailangan laging i-open ang RODCAM app to record. Use it only for framing ng camera angles, to download your photos and videos, and to adjust your camera settings. After nyan, i-off ang Wi-Fi ng unit para makasave tayo ng battery life. Again guys, this is Motorbreads. You guys ride safe and make your riding more fun with Freedcon Intercoms.